We are just one day away from Santa Barbara declaring a stage two drought. That means more water conservation. It also means the start of a process to use the ocean as a water source. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez joins us live. And Tori, it is a long and very expensive process to do that. Yeah, that's right, Beth and CJ. The city has a desalination plant that was both built and shut down in the 90s. To restart it again, it will cost around $29 million. If the rain clouds stay away, Santa Barbara city leaders expect they will need desalinated water by 2017. That seawater with the salt taken out, producing fresh water. But the process is pricey. It could have some big impacts, and that's what we've been, you know, kind of reiterating with the public why we are proceeding cautiously with this. Um, however, it is a, it's our next most reliable resource right here, uh, right off the coast. Restarting the existing plant would not only cost an estimated $28.75 million, it would take $5 million a year to operate. But with no rain and dwindling supplies, it's an expensive project the city council is moving forward with to keep the water flowing. A lot of upgrades are needed. And so what we want to make sure we do it right. We want to make sure we are efficient in how we do it. And we want to make sure we are in compliance with all types of regulations. One of the first checks written to get the facility started is to an engineering company to help figure out all those details. More than $900,000 will pay for the study that will be ready in September. But what we know now is the price tag for the much needed water. The cost of desal is five times greater than the cost of regular water coming from Kachuma. Water is measured in acre feet. Before the drought, it cost $600 an acre foot. Right now, with the city buying water, it's around $1,300. With the desalination plant, it would increase to $3,000 an acre foot. It's a big jump. It is a big jump. And even with the sea to fresh water conversion, conservation would still be necessary. The current plan is to put the pumps three quarters of a mile offshore, just to the east of Stearns Wharf. But how those pumps are placed is still up for debate. One way is to have the water taken from the open ocean to the desal plant, pumped through a screen which filters out most sea creatures. But an environmental nonprofit wants what's called a subsurface intake. It's underneath the sandy bottom, and the seawater goes down pulls it through and up here and up to the land. Susan Jordan, director of the California Coastal Protection Network, thinks the city is moving too quickly with the project and needs to look at how the desalination plant would affect marine life. Open ocean intakes just literally suck in the ocean water and everything that's in it, fish, larva, all the cycle of marine life gets sucked into the plant and, and Basically, it's, it's mortality. State desal guidelines are coming in about a month. Environmentalists want the city to hold off until then. It's not like I'm trying to come in and saying, you know, don't do it here. Um, this is, here is home for me. But Santa Barbara planners will keep working towards having the plant up and running and will make adjustments as needed when state guidelines are released. We're moving along that path and I'm not looking to go out there and destroy any environment. I'm certainly, the city is just as, uh, if not more sensitive to the environment and how we interact with the environment, uh, particularly when we're looking to make it into our drinking water source. head to Sacramento this week. They will meet with state agencies to discuss the city's plans and also possible new state regulations. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3.